Assalamu alaikum friends. Today I would like to discuss the total concept of moment of inertia. A kiss kide ka naam hai moment of inertia which is troubling the students. So what is the complete picture of moment of inertia will give you. Now regarding moment of inertia if you observe. Let us give uh, let us take a beautiful example. Okay, so let us take a wheel and on this wheel we are making one pot. We are preparing a pot on the wheel. You should know one thing that moment of inertia is nothing but if you try to rotate the wheel by applying certain torque here here it is small hole small hole is there you fix a stick and start moving it the wheel rotates the wheel rotates for a longer time why it is going to rotate for a longer time the time of rotation depends upon the mass of the wheel as well as the radius of the wheel Generally, we call moment of inertia as mr square, where m is said to be the mass of the wheel and r is said to be the radius of the wheel. You all know the what is general meaning of inertia. What is inertia? A body at rest will be at rest one until unless we apply certain force on it. A body in motion will be in motion until unless we apply certain force to stop it. So the inability of a body to move by itself, the inability of a body to stop by itself until unless we apply certain force is called as moment of inertia. You all know about that. So what is the meaning of moment of inertia? Inertia is known to everyone according to Newton's law of motion. First law we can say. Moment of inertia is nothing but how much time the wheel rotates when it starts rotates. A wheel cannot be rotated by itself until unless we apply, we apply certain torque on that. And the wheel does not stop by itself until unless we apply certain torque to stop it. That is called as moment of inertia. A wheel apne khudi se घूमना नहीं शुरू कर सकता जब तक कि हम उसके ऊपर टार्क अप्लाई ना करें और एक व्हील खुद ब खुद ठहर नहीं सकता जब तक कि हम उसके ऊपर एक टार्क अप्लाई करके उसको रोक दे दैट इज कॉल्ड एज मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया मोमेंट मींस टर्निंग इफेक्ट एंड इनर्शिया इज जनरल मीनिंग नाउ द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज टेकन एज i is equal to m r स्क्वायर दैट मींस मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया डिपेंड्स अपॉन द मास ऑफ द बॉडी why are able to prepare the part on a rotating wheel the reason for that is this wheel once it is rotated it takes longer time to stop and that's what we need the longer the time it's the wheel rotates the better we can prepare the part and that is called as moment of inertia moment of inertia depends upon the mass of the body and radius of the body as we said here now this is about the moment of inertia of a wheel but as if you consider this is the formula there are two laws we should understand what are the laws let me discuss here for example this is a ring and this is the moment of inertia of a ring which is considered as mr square and if you want to find out the moment of inertia with respect to some other axis this is considered as moment of inertia with respect to center of gravity that is considered as mr square and with respect to some other axis if the axis is taken as x which is definitely equal to r according to parallel axis theorem according to parallel axis theorem 
we all know that if uh, we know the moment of inertia with respect to center of gravity we can find out the moment of inertia with respect to some other axis yeah that is called as moment of inertia of some other axis we want to find out you can just write i is equal to ig plus mx square this is called as parallel axis theorem and this axis if you want to find out the moment of inertia it is taken as ig which is considered to be moment of inertia with respect to center of gravity and as x equal to r this can be considered as one more r so i is equal to 2 mr square 2 mr square okay now let me take one small example let us take this as a wheel and here if you imagine to be a ring with respect to this axis which is passing through the center moment of inertia is mr square with respect to this axis if it is rotating okay with respect to this axis which is at the edge of the ring we are considering ring now just to understand i am taking this wheel this moment of inertia is taken as 2 mr square but if you want to find out the moment of inertia with respect to the diameter how are we going to find out the moment of inertia with respect to the diameter for that we need to understand parallel axis theorem let me take one ring okay this is one axis this is one axis let us consider this is ix and this is iy and this is one more axis which is taken as iz let us imagine this is iz so let me show you this is a wheel with respect to this axis now we are going to rotate the wheel now like this and with respect to one more axis like this with respect to this axis also we are rotating the wheel with respect to this axis also we are rotating the wheel but these two are taken as moment of inertia with respect to diameter so you can write this as ix equal to id iy is also equal to id and you all know iz is nothing but ig just now i said iz is nothing but ig so now you can take here uh, perpendicular axis theorem perpendicular axis theorem according to perpendicular axis theorem it is said that moment of inertia with respect to z axis will be equal to the sum of moment of inertia with respect to x axis plus with respect to y axis and this is i y sorry i z i z is equal to i x plus i y i z is taken as i g i x is taken as i d i y is taken as i d so therefore we can write 2 i d is equal to i g so you can write i d this is i g which is considered as m r square and id is taken as mr square by 2 okay so we got the moment of inertia with respect to the diameter with respect to the diameter now finally what i am going to say is if this is a ring okay so along the diameter which is with respect to this axis for example with respect to this axis in a ring you are going to rotate a ring with respect to this axis and that is taken as along the diameter which is already known to you which is taken as mr square by 2 here so along the diameter if you want to find out the moment of inertia with respect to some other axis which is passing through the tangent which is passing through the tangent then what happens then what is the formula again you have to apply parallax theorem that is this is i this is ig but it is parallel okay and this is ig and this is ig but perpendicular to the plane this is ig but it is parallel to the plane of the ring here okay so then i is equal to ig plus mr square okay this is x equal to r so mx square okay so moment of inertia with respect to the tangent is ig and what is ig it is mr square by 2 and x is taken as r so we can write this as mr square so with respect to tangent with respect to this axis we can consider this as 
3 by 2 mr square okay so we got almost all the formulas regarding a ring how we are going to do now how we are going to explain now let us see my dear students if this is going to be a ring let us imagine with respect to this axis which is taken as center of gravity and parallel to the plane with respect to this axis the moment of inertia is going to be mr square for a ring my dear with respect to some other axis which is perpendicular to the plane but the edge of the ring here this is taken as 2 mr square just now i got 2 mr square but along the diameter if you consider just now i got it as mr square by 2 along the diameter mr square by 2 and with respect to this edge with respect to this edge if you consider it is considered as 3 by 2 mr square so totally we got regarding the total ring what are the center of i mean what are the moment of inertia with respect to tangent parallel perpendicular center of gravity everything so these are almost all the basic formulas regarding center of i mean moment of inertia uh, let me discuss one problem today based on this concept if you want you can just take a screenshot uh, there was a problem asked in jay mains recently let me uh, draw that problem and show you what is going to happen here for example this is a ring Okay, so this is the diagram. Now, there are four rings. Let us imagine there are four rings. And you have to find out the total moment of inertia of these four rings. Each one have the same radius. These are called as identical rings. Samaj mein aarana bhaiya. Thik hai, chalega. Okay, so now this. Abhi dekhenge kya kya jayega iska. Uh, let us take now. Uh, if you take this, this is the first ring. Let us imagine the moment of inertia with respect to the diameter is considered as m r square by two. Just now explained. And this is with respect to the tangent. This is taken as three by two m r square because this is a ring and this is going to be the tangent and that is parallel to that ring. So three by two m r square. And what is this? This is going to be three by two m r square. And what is this? As usual, here, if you observe, this is mr square by 2. And this is also taken as for this ring also, it is taken as mr square by 2 along the diameter. Okay. What you have to do here is you just add all the four formulas, then get the final moment of inertia of this type of body. A combined rings you are going to get now. Okay. So, therefore, moment of inertia net is nothing but I1. This is, let us imagine, just directly write down mr square by 2 plus mr square by 2 plus 3 by 2 mr square plus 3 by 2 mr square. Okay. So, mr square by 2 plus mr square by 2 is nothing but I net. This is mr square. And what is this going to be? If you add them, you will be getting 3 mr square. So totally it is taken as 4 mr square. This is the net moment of inertia of these four bodies. Hope you have understood. Hope you have understood this one. It's a very simple, a logical concept. Uh, let us go ahead with the next point.